always be conscious of God. Because if you are conscious of God, you will never mistreat one another. And, the, and this consciousness of God will be the most important thing. A person may marry for looks, but people grow old. A person may marry for wealth, wealth comes and goes. A person may marry because of the family's name and reputation, and reputations get ruined. But marry a person for their religion and for their faith and love of God, and that is something that will remain forever God willing. And that is something that will forever bring benefit to each other. And the first verse that I started off with says that He created for you mates from among yourselves that you may dwell in tranquility with them. And so what are some of the ways? The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Tahadu tahabu. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Give gifts and you will love one another. Excited that it would be best that I write something up and this is a perfect piggyback to go off of. So I wrote something about what we have, and that's a relationship. A relationship is the God's gift to humanity, a, pre a preview of heaven and all of its glories. Relationships are what we are existed to create as Adam and Eve, and some Adam and Steve, me. <laughs> a relationship blesses us. The prayers are not delivered for the sake of a negotiation with God, as in, I give you this and you have to give me something in return. But instead, it's done for the sake of allowing God to see what's best in you. And allowing God to give you the tools that will allow you to obtain the happiness within a relationship and to sustain it. And that would be the God's gift on earth, their heavenly preview. With that said, my heavenly preview is here. And I hope you all find yours, truly. God bless you all. قل أعوذ برب فرق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاتات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من عينه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم